today I want to walk you through notifications. Now you can customize notifications per course. So we're going to go up here to account in the upper left hand corner and then we're going to select notifications. Now here you'll see that you can change the settings for the account as a whole or you can go course by course. Now this is important for students to know because students get so many emails from Canvas. They in the past could only turn them all off or turn them all on. Now, what's really important here is Canvas has different notification levels, so you can notify immediately, daily, weekly, summary, or completely turn it off. Now, I encourage students to have their due dates on weekly, just so that they're continuing to get updates, but in a much more manageable level. Now, if they have this on daily, or notify immediately. Every single time we update something in Canvas, they're gonna get a notification. So turning that on to weekly can be really helpful. For me, files, I don't often update files, but that can also be turned to weekly as well. Announcements, I always put, have those pushed not only to my email, but to my phone. So announcements are typically pretty critical, and I would encourage students to leave those on. Moving forward here, invitations, those only happen when a new course is created. Late grading, I think as a teacher, is really important to have turned on, and I only turn that on weekly. And then here, when it comes to all sorts of discussion posts, turning on weekly, looking at replies can be helpful. And again, students may or may not choose to have those turned on, and it really depends on the course. So if they're in a discussion heavy course, they might want to go to that course, select the course, and turn certain things on or off. The other thing that I like for students to have turned off typically is scheduling and conferences. We typically don't do much with that, so turning those off can be really important. I do in discussions like them having when they get mentioned, so if somebody posts to them that they get those notifications. So now you can have students, and you can as well, turn on and off notifications. Now, it's important that students know, hey, if they've turned off notifications, where can they find their to-do list? Where can they find their calendar? So that we're empowering students to use the tool in a manner that's effective for them and not overwhelming. So play around with notifications and take a look because now you can change notifications by account and by course.